I want to start this section by looking at an optimization problem. So what we have is a farmer and they want to build a rectangular field, effectively, um, and they have 80 meters of fencing. And they want to put it one side against this brick wall. Okay, so one of the sides of the rectangle is already sorted out, it's already there. And I'm going to put the fencing in such a way to make a rectangle. And what we want to do is we want to optimize the total area within that rectangle. So if I've got 80 meters of fencing, I need to set this problem up in such a way that I can introduce some algebra into it. So one thing that we don't know is the width of this rectangle, okay? So let's call that x. If we call that x, then that leaves us with this length here. Now we know that the total length of this side, this side, and this side must add up to 80 meters, okay? So effectively, if I put that as a question mark for the moment, then x plus that side I don't know, plus x must all add up to 80 meters. So if I take the two x's from both sides, then that side I could write as 80 minus 2x, okay? So that sets up the sides of the rectangle. Now the area of a rectangle, because that's what we want to maximize, can be found by multiplying the x by the 80 minus 2x. Okay? So, this, um, I could expand that if I wanted to, so 80x minus 2x squared, okay? This is a quadratic, okay? And this, being a quadratic, must have the shape of a parabola, so I could draw a sketch of this graph, okay? So what we would have is that this axis is the area, okay? And this axis is the x-axis. And what we can see is that in this factorized form, when the area is zero, x must be zero or x must be 40, okay? In order for that bracket to be zero. And so, we must have a parabola that goes through 0 and 40 on the x-axis, okay? There's no point drawing uh, the curve going down here or going past here because we're not going to have a negative area, okay? So, or I can't have negative side length either. So if I get rid of those bits of the axes, okay, then we have this shape here. Now we know that a parabola is symmetric, and so this point here, halfway between 0 and 40, which is 20, must give me my largest possible area. Okay? So when x is 20, okay, so when x equals 20, the area is equal to 20 times 80 minus 2 lots of 20. So 80 take away 2 lots of 20 is just 40. So 20 times 40, which is equal to 800. And so the maximum area is actually 800 square metres. OK? So... This is uh, solving an optimization problem. And what we did was we drew a sketch of the curve and we identified that as being the maximum point and that is how we found the solution. Now, we actually have more tools um, than that uh, to solve these types of problems because ultimately this point is quite significant because this is where the curve 
uh, has a turning point. So we can see that as the curve is increasing, 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 and then it stalls and then starts to decrease. Okay? And so what we could do is we could look at the gradient of this curve and then the gradient at that point there, right at the top, is when the gradient is zero. And so we could use differentiation in order to find this point. So we could effectively have differentiated the area, so find dA by dx, okay, which would be 80 take away 4x, and then that is where the gradient is 0, and so dA by dx would be 0 at that point. So dA by dx equals 0 would imply that 80 minus 4x is 0, and so x would have to be 20. So I could go down the route of a purely algebraic method of finding that maximum point using differentiation. And that is what we are going to be doing in this section. We're going to be using the differentiation tools that we've learnt before to now find these turning points of curves and how we can then identify whether they are maximums, like they are in this case, or if the curve goes back down like that, then we would also have minimums. Um, so that is what this section is going to be all about, and we're going to look at more complicated optimization problems later on.